Today I've got a special guest with me. My friend Veena is joining me to make some traditional Indian turmeric latte. So she's going to show us how it's done and I will learn along with you as well. So let's get started. Okay. So we wouldn't really call it a turmeric latte, but that's the end thing at the moment. Okay. <laughs> um, but what, what any, would you normally call it? Haldi dud. Like, um, cool. which is like turmeric milk. Yeah. And any young Indian person in my generation will probably have been chased around the house by their mum, trying to force this down their throat when they had a cough or a cold. <laughs> um, but it's become quite popular. So, we'll start. So yeah. you're going to need a saucepan. And we've got half a cup of water and half a cup of plant milk. We've used soy here, but you can use anything that you like. And then we've got a few extra fresh ingredients here. So we've got um, about a thumb's worth of freshly ground turmeric. You can use mm -hmm. um, dry turmeric if you like, but th this will work the best. Um, so do you find that the dry turmeric is a bit bitter? It is a bit the bitter, fresh? but this will give, and this will also give off a lot more taste, and it won't be as powdery. Yeah. Um, but it does make your hands pretty yellow. <laughs> so be careful about that. And then there's some spices here too, isn't there? So yeah, so I mean, I, you would, I would normally just use a, a chai masala spice mix, which you can probably get from any Indian shop, but there's about um, half a teaspoon of cardamom, a quarter teaspoon each of ginger, um, clove, and cinnamon. Okay, excellent. So was it cloves or nutmeg? Clo uh, there was cloves and no nutmeg. <laughs> nutmeg. Nutmeg. <laughs> you can use cloves too though. Okay. Um, and that's a teaspoon of sugar. Normally I'd use like the raw Indian sugar that you can get, but you can use coconut sugar, maple syrup, or anything you like. Okay. And then you just want to give it a little mix. I get to mix. Woohoo! It smells so good. All those spices. I love Indian food and. Any, anything with these spices is just amazing. Well, it's going to be pretty tasty and um, it's really good. Well, any Indian family would swear by it when you've got coughs and colds and it'll be quite nice for the winter now when it's coming in yeah. and you don't have to pay $6 for a turmeric yeah. latte. Well, it's a good anti-inflammatory, so if you've got arthritis issues or any of those sort of concerns, then... And it's then a nice caffeine-free nice. way to enjoy a warm, spicy yeah. drink. Yeah, excellent. All right, well, we'll let this what, come to a boil. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even necessarily bring it all the way to a boil, but until it's like very warm all the way through. Okay. Um, and it's already starting to warm up. Yeah, it's bubbling away. Okay, so this has been on a low to medium heat for about five minutes now, and it smells delicious. It's almost it's slightly thickened a bit too, so... You can um, always use um, a whole cup of plant milk if you want it. It's like a creamier, more creamy, thicker texture. Sounds good. All right, we'll take turn this heat off. Okay, so um, normally I personally wouldn't strain it. I would just um, I like to chew on the turmeric bits as well because you get all the goodness. But okay. um, Ooh, that looks good. Well, it looks okay. amazing. It smells amazing. The benefits of having an awesome Indian friend. <laughs> Cheers! Cheers. Mm. That's good. Yum. That's good. <laughs> it's really good. Give it a try. It's so easy to make. Just some simple spices and some fresh turmeric. And yeah. Yum. Thank nice. you. <laughs> Remember the recipes on my website at cookingwithplants.com. And don't forget to join me on Facebook at Cooking With Plants. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Mm. Oh, that is really good, isn't yeah. it? <laughs>